Amongst the widely presented arguments that colonialism was, was, was evil, it's of course, that it was racist. But I think you challenge that assumption. It's not so simple. And indeed, you hold up the very interesting illustration of British involvement in Africa to end slavery, which is deeply rooted in the horrors of racism. Yeah. So I, I, I think we, we need to have an adult discussion about what we mean by racism, John. And I, I, there are a couple of pages in my book where I, I lay out what I think racism is. Um, and I, 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 I take it to be, I mean, human beings are constantly in the business of identifying with one group over and against another and thinking themselves, thinking this group to which I belong, this football club, this church, this nation, this race is better than another because it, 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 it makes us feel better <laughs> to, to be superior to other people. It's a very common thing. Europeans did not, did not invent racial prejudice. Um, but I think that's, that's what it is. It's, it, it's, it's denigrating another people, another race, uh, in an indiscriminate fashion and then assuming that any member of that race uh, shares and whatever bad qualities you attributed to it. And that, it, that I regard, just for the record, is, is ugly and it's abhorrent. But what I don't think is racist is, is making discriminate um, uh, judgments about another culture and saying, well, in this respect, I think that culture is scientifically or technologically or perhaps even morally inferior. Um, now, why do I say that's not, not racist? Well, it's partly because you know, when I, as a 21st century Briton, look back on my medieval forebears, you bet there are ways in which I regard our culture as superior to theirs. Uh, you know, we, we don't, thank goodness, uh, hang, draw, and quarter criminals. Uh, we don't burn them alive. Uh, our medicine is superior. Um, our agriculture is superior. So if I can say that about, about my own people a thousand years ago, if I meet other cultures around the world which have similar practices or a similar level of cultural development, I also regard uh, them as, in these respects, uh, inferior. And uh, let's also point out that uh, people who regard, regard themselves as progressive, when, when they regard, let's say, Christian fundamentalists in, in the southern United States, they regard them typically with contempt. So they regard their progressive culture as superior to, to fundamentalist Christian culture. So um, my view is that needn't be racist, uh, provided you're discriminate. You, you're, not, uh, you're not, as it were, indiscriminately rubbishing of another culture. And, and the other important respect is this, that um, it would be racist, uh, uh, as some people toward the end of the 1800s uh, thought, to regard non-white peoples as naturally or biologically inferior. That's to say, not only are they at this moment in time inferior culturally in certain respects, but that's because they are naturally inferior and they will never significantly improve. Um, that view, as I said, was around in the late Victorian period, but it never displaced uh, the earlier Christian view. And this is the view that um, fueled the very powerful and popular uh, movement to abolish slavery, which, which grew, grew uh, um, gained momentum in the late 1700s, the Christian view that all human beings are basically equal under God, regardless of race and regardless of cultural development. Uh, and and that, view, I don't, that, that view is not racist. Uh, the, the worst form of racism, I think, is that which regards uh, uh, members of another race as naturally and permanently and biologically inferior. That's insupportable. I'm often reminded in my own mind of the, uh, the earliest recognised political slogan that was struck by Josiah Wedgwood during the anti-slavery campaign. And you can still see examples of it everywhere. A very intricate beautifully made bas relief of an African man looking imploringly up. And the slogan underneath says, am I not a man and a brother? Yes, yes. The insistence yes. that our humanity is common. Yes. And they're not an inferior species. Yes, yeah, so it was that Christian view that 
that uh, you'll find it uh, uh, at the beginning of John Wesley's Thoughts Upon Slavery in 1774. And it was that Christian view that, that particularly through evangelical Christianity, uh, through Methodism, uh, through nonconformist Christianity, uh, really became widespread in England in the late 17, early 1800s. Thank you.